Let's learn about area. Area is the amount of flat space contained within a given shape. The area can be found by filling up the shape with unit squares and counting how many you need to entirely fill the space. Let's just talk about an example down here. I have this square on the right hand side and we're going to use it for a problem but before we get there let's just use it for an example. When you're thinking about area you have to think about the length and width of the shape. So you have two dimensions. You've got length and width. Now let's just say this is this is a unit square right here inside the bigger shape and this unit square represents one unit of area. Now which units do you use? Well that depends on how the unit square is measured. So let's just say that this is a centimeter square. So it has one centimeter on each side. The units then for the area of that square would be centimeter squared. And that's because you have two dimensions, so you have squared. That's what this two represents here. Now for a moment, imagine though that this were a different scenario. What if we had measured this unit square in meters? So each side is one meter. In this case, the area would be meter squared. So whatever units the unit square is in, you just use the squared version of those units to write the area. So now that you're comfortable with that, we can talk about solving a problem. Emma draws a rectangle using centimeter squares. So here's our units, centimeter squares. And she draws this rectangle to measure the area of her mouse pad. What is the area? So what that means is that this shape is her mouse pad, and what she's done is put unit squares inside. She decided to measure her unit squares in centimeters, so it means each square has one centimeter on each side. So now let's think about how we would find the total area. To find the area, you would count up how many unit squares it takes to fill up the space of her mouse pad. So let's go in and count those in green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there are sixteen unit squares in here. Now let's not forget the units. Since these are centimeter squares, we're going to use the units of centimeters squared. That means Emma's mouse pad is sixteen centimeters squared in area. In this lesson, you've learned how to find the area of a rectangle using unit squares, and you've also learned how to choose the appropriate units for representing the area. Happy solving!